MGI Construction has been making its footprint in the construction industry for the last decade. As industry leaders, our vision is to cultivate, develop, and restate the land we share and the communities built upon it. MGI is dedicated to providing our clients with cost-effective and timely service, our employees with a safe and rewarding workplace, and our planet with environmentally sound business strategies and operating procedures. With active construction sites of varying sizes, it's important that we implement safe workplace strategies and guidelines for all employees, site visitors, subcontractors, and suppliers to ensure we maintain a safe work environment for everyone. All employees are required to fill out and submit the necessary documents before beginning. Please be sure to go over the required documents and ensure they are valid before submitting. All documents are labeled with their respective numbers. Once all the necessary documents are completed, please submit them to employees at mgicorp.ca. With many moving parts within the company, it's important to know how to identify and assess potential job hazards. Our job hazard analysis was created to provide workplaces with a step-by-step -step approach to recognize, assess, and control hazards, as well as monitor the ongoing effectiveness of controls. Refer to the Job Hazard Analysis Index, located in the document, to identify hazards that may pertain to your specific scope of work. Employees must familiarize themselves with all JHA tasks relevant to their position. The Job Hazard Analysis Index will help identify potential hazards that may arise from the work you will be performing. Here, we see a worker using a ladder in an improper manner, resulting in potential injury. Be sure to be familiar with the safe work practices or safe job procedures associated with the task at hand and refer to the index for more information. Safe work practices are generally written methods outlining how to perform a task with minimum risk to people, equipment, materials, environment, and processes. Safe job procedures are a series of specific steps that guide a worker through a task from start to finish in a chronological order. The index of the document will provide a list of potential work you may be completing. Employees are required to follow all steps outlined in the SJP for critical tasks and must refer to the SWP for how to safely perform all other tasks. The purpose of each SJP will be identified at the top of the document. PPE required for the job at hand will be identified in the first column. Each SWP or SJP is associated with a job hazard found in the job hazard analysis and following the guidelines will help reduce the risk of injury. Not every job is the same, so the work you are performing may require additional precautions that fall under different sections of the SWP and SJP document. The construction industry is vast. Every company has their own policies which have been put into place. At MGI, we've put together a package which outlines all our policies from A to Z. Reference the table of contents to find out where to locate the policy information you are looking for. Let's take a look at eye and face protection. Once you've reached the section in our company policy, you will find detailed information about the purpose of the individual policy being in place. In this case, to ensure all employees receive the appropriate PPE to protect their health and safety while completing their assigned duties. In addition, you'll find information about potential varying types of procedures. In this case, comparisons between safety glasses, goggles, face shields, welding goggles, and prescription safety glasses are outlined. Please review and assess which is best for your assigned task. It is important to note specific requirements of each policy. For example, safety glasses must be CSA approved. Review the section to find additional requirements and details regarding regulations to keep you yourself safe. If you're unsure of who is responsible for enforcing the policies and procedures for each section, it will be outlined in the Responsibilities section of the document. MGI has taken great measures to ensure a safe work environment for all employees, site visitors, subcontractors, and suppliers. 
it's important to make yourself familiar with our procedures. Information can be found on our Occupational Health and Safety Board, which is located on-site in electronic or print form in the site office. This board will provide you with all necessary site-specific health and safety information, including Health and Safety Policy Statement Violence and Harassment Policy Statement Form 1000 Notice of Project Traffic Control Plan Inspection Reports The Green Book MGI Company Policy Regulatory Posters Emergency Response Procedure Emergency Numbers Map to Hospital Evacuation Plan JHSC Members and First Aid Certified Employees Location of Safety Data Sheets Eyewash Air Horn and First Aid Kit If you need more information or have further questions regarding any of the material please reach out to the health and safety representative or site supervisor. All job sites require mandatory PPE to be worn for everyone's safety. As you enter a job site, you will see a sign identifying required PPE. All sites require CSA approved work boots with 6-inch ankle support, mandatory, CSA-approved hard hat, mandatory, and high-visibility apparel. There may be additional PPE required depending on the job being completed. Certain items are task-specific, such as gloves, hearing protection, respiratory protection, and eye protection. PPE is not limited to these items, and you should make yourself aware of what PPE is required to complete the task at hand. You can reference the Health and Safety Board for further materials or review more information in the JHA, SWP, and SJP documents. At MGI, we believe in prevention over treatment, which is why we focus on ongoing safety training for all employees. However, in the event of an injury or workplace incident, MGI has reporting procedures in place, as well as a Safe Return to Work program, SRTW. Following a workplace injury, as soon as the employee is able, they must inform their supervisor of the incident and have an injured workers package filled out by their doctor. This package will outline their functional abilities and allow MGI to modify any work if necessary. Management will then report the incident to WSIB if there is a loss of time as a result of the workplace injury. As soon as the employee has been cleared by their physician, if they require modified work, MGI management will meet with the employee to create a personalized safe return to work plan. MGI has a list of modified positions that will allow workers to reintegrate sooner without compromising their safety. Types of accommodations include administrative duties, inventory management, training or recertification, traffic control. At MGI, our Safe Return to Work program depends on the ongoing communication between both the worker and supervisor to ensure the safety of all employees. Some job site tasks require training and certifications before starting. All employees must have valid and up-to-date training in Working at Heights, mandatory MOL Worker and Supervisor Awareness Workplace Violence and Harassment Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act, AODA WIMIS 2015 First Aid and CPR these are mandated training that must be completed. If you are not up to date, please be sure to do the required training prior to the job. Every worker should make themselves familiar with their rights and responsibilities and the employment standards in Ontario. Workers have the right to know about the hazards in their workplace. Workers have the right to participate in company safety. Workers have the right to refuse unsafe work.
Once you have completed the orientation and understand the requirements expected of you, please fill out, sign, and submit the orientation acknowledgement. Thanks for joining us in Constructing History.